Hi everybody, my name is Roman and it's Marketing Watch House. And as I promised in previous video, I'm going to show you how to write your first code in a Google Ads script. I want to tell you one thing before we start. I'm going to film how I code, how I write the code for the first time in my life and it probably won't be as easy to do it nice and comfortable for everybody from the first try but please if you have any recommendations comments and I will definitely read them another thing is that I'm not here to teach you how to code at all from the very beginning when you have no understanding I would definitely suggest you to go to Coursera to Udemy or to YouTube and to have several lessons of the basics I'm here to show you how to make a Google Ads script when you have at least basic understanding of a JavaScript. Okay, let's start. Today we're going to pause bad ads within the Google Ads script. It's a very, very easy task. Let's see what's, the, what's our agenda. We have several very important things. First, we want to pause all ads with a bad click-through rate inside each ad group. So I go to each ad group, see what ads I have there, sort them by the click-through rate, and I pause everything that is bad. Then I wanted to know that I wanted to keep at least one or any other amount of ads inside the ad group. I wanted to define this. I want this script to run automatically and I wanted to control campaigns to work with them. And I wanted to control which campaign will be taken to, into consideration. So let's have a look. I have a function main here and it's JavaScript. So first of all, we need to take all ad groups that will actually be applicable for us. For that, we need to use the ad groups iterator. So we create a variable and we use ads, ads app and it has a method that is called ad groups. So which, what ad groups I wanted to get? I wanted to get with condition uh, and here you can actually s filter ad groups by different properties they have. For example, I wanted to have status enabled. Enabled. So I don't want it to work with the ad groups that are paused or removed. And actually because when you work with the removed, you will have an error. I also wanted to make other filtering. For example, I wanted to campaign name contains contains ignore case so that means that campaign name will contain something inside and the case doesn't actually matter let's make it um, search for example I wanted to work only with the search and a very important thing here is the quotes because you have a string that I'm having with a double quotes and I have a, a substring inside with a single quote. So if I just do here, just do this, it won't work. I need to put the string I'm sorting with in a different quote. Okay, now that with the condition impressions. So what I'm what I'm trying to do is I don't want to work with ad groups that don't have enough impressions for past period. And definitely need to set up the period I'm working with. So sorry. I wanted to get date range and we have several predefined date ranges. Let's make it last 30 days, but you can Google for more ranges in API data. So the last method I'm going to do is a get and here I finish my filtering. Let's have a look. So while and here I have an iterator, so I need to iterate them. But to, to iterate them, I need to understand if it actually exists. So iterator has next, has next. And let's just check if it works or not. So logger log. Hey, how are you? And then logger log. Um, add group. I don't have the ad group yet, yes. So I need to get the next ad group. I will create a variable ad group that it equals to ad group iterator next. So this 
condition will tell me if there is a next and if it does exist in this line I will get next and iterator will move to, to the next one and I'm going to push the name to console so I can see what's happening there so get name let's copy this put it here in the account and authorize the script it probably will show me several errors and that's okay when you code the stuff let's have a preview okay there is no add group selector on the five Ah, okay, that makes sense. It's not get date range, but it's for date range. So I'm applying these conditions for this date range. That makes sense. Let's check. Preview. A G iterator is not defined. Okay, it's another misspell. Okay, now the script works. Because I don't have any campaign name that contains search and have more than 1000 impressions in this account, to prove that it works, I will make, I will delete the campaign name contains information and I will also reduce amount of impressions to 10. So we can make sure that we actually have some ad groups here. Okay, a lot of different ad group names in Russian, it works. So next thing I wanted to do, I wanted to delete this. Doesn't actually important for me anymore. So now we have an ad group and we wanted to take ads for each ad group. So we create add iterator and it works always the same. It's ad group ads and then with condition again I wanted to work only with something that is enabled for date range last 30 days and again get. Then I wanted to create add array because that is an iterator. It just contains information about the next ad groups, but I want to. Uh, about next ads, but I wanted to push them all somewhere. I create an array and while the same happening here, add iterator has next um, add array push um, add iterator next. So what we're going, what we're uh, doing here, we take all ads inside the ad group, we create an array, and then we go one ad by another and put this ad in this array. So when we do that, when we, we when we've done that, we can analyze all these ads and uh, work with them. One more thing that I forgot to do is I don't want to just to have all the ads. I wanted to sort them by by click through rate. And it's very important for me because I wanted to leave at least one ad inside the ad group and I'm going to ignore the first ad. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put order by click the rate ascending. And another thing, it's also very important, we're going to exclude ads that does not contain views. With conditions, impressions more than 10. So if an ad doesn't have impressions, I will not stop this ad because I have no data for that. I also sort all the ads inside ad groups with ascending order, which actually means that the first ad inside this array would be the worst ad and the last ad in the array will be the best ad. So now we have all the ads and what we're going to do, we're going to define how many ads I wanted to leave. Ads to leave and let's start with one then we need to check if there are more than one in our case ads inside the array so we have array length and we have ads to leave if if this is true we're going to implement our logic 
If it's false, we are not going to do anything without add group because it already contains only one add inside. So for each add inside, for variable e equals zero, for variable i equals zero, uh, while i is let that add array dot length minus adds to leaf i plus plus. So sorry. So what we're doing here, we are creating the variable with the index of array inside of, of with the index of the add inside the array, and we go through all adds inside the array except the last one because the last one is the best one. I'm going to leave it there. But I have a mistake in this code because I'm iterating inside the array from zero. The index of a last array, the index of a last add will be add array minus one. So this is the correct index of a last add inside the array. To make it work correctly, I need to make this adjustment. And the only thing I wanted to do here is add array dot i pause. Let's check if it works or not. Preview. Okay, we still need to exclude this line and I need to adjust it here for the same as I've done previously. Okay, it works. So what happens here, script goes for each ad group inside and pause and add inside the ad group that has the worst click through rate and pause them all until it have only one ad inside each ad group. If you wanted to leave at least two ads, and in this case, how I see I have an average two ads inside the ad group, I will change this to two and I think it will barely make any changes. Another thing while it's running, the preview mode will show you what's happening with the script, but it won't apply anything in that inside the account. The run button over here will actually implement the changes. So I see here that amount of ads is going to pause is much less, so it actually works. You can file you can find this source code inside the presentation. I have it over here on this slide and below this script and below this video. Thanks for watching. Leave your comments, your suggestions and your questions below and I will try to make this video much better. Thank you very much. Bye bye.